hello everyone welcome to excel problem solving series so into this video we'll be solving two of the most interesting problem so one of the problem is on to the direct application of a certain formula and on to the other problem we'll be learning some of the interesting concepts let us jump over to the very first problem which is present here so you can see into the column a i have the builder name into the column b i have the units the column c i have the average dollar commission and into the column d i have the total dollars into commission and into the column e you can see i need to get the commissions amount and here the commission rates along with the builder's name is present here so from this particular range or table range you can see we need to get the commission based on to the basis of all of these builders name we need to just get the commission amount so friends by now it must be very much clear we just need to do a simple edge lookup here to get the particular commission rate so our table range would be this particular range and we just need to fix this because if we drag this particular formula to the very last the range would change so that is why we just need to fix the range and from this particular row in which the lookup value is present into this particular table array which particular row number i want so there is just two rows which is present into this particular table range so the answer is two because i want to get the second row values and then it will be zero i'll just hit enter so you can see i have got six let's drag this formula to the last and you can see i have got the commission range for each of the builders now friends this particular problem was quite simple let us move to the second problem this is very much interesting so you can see the problem says find name using vlookup without changing the order of the table here you can see into the very first column i have the name into the second column i have the department name id age and salary and what do we want so here you can see they have given us the id and corresponding to all these ids i want to get the name now friends a mandatory condition while doing a v lookup is that the lookup value column should be the very first column of the table array or should be into the leftmost side of the table array while you can see the name thing i want is onto the left side of the id column so according to our problem set this should be our lookup value and this particular lookup value column is present onto the right side of the column or the values which we want this is not an ideal condition to apply v lookup if the case was something like i would just copy this particular column here if the case was something like this if the table array was present something like this i would easily have done the v lookup thing because it is present on to the leftmost side of the column values which i want so in that case the things are very much simple but into this particular case as you can see i have opposite to what the case should be so that is what we just need to apply something else also into the problem you can see they have mentioned we need to do the things or the we need to provide the solution using the vlookup but the condition they have provided is do not change the order of the table while here you can see i have changed the order of the table i have brought the id column copied it and pasted it into the very first column of my table array into that case the order of the table has been changed i have got the answer but this is a wrong way and this sh should not be done because into the question they have told not to change the order of the table so i would just bring or clear out all the contents so what is the alternative solution to do this now friends into this particular video we'll be learning a very interesting concept and this particular formula which is the choose function which is present into the excel now friends what does this choose function do we'll see this let us write the formula for that so i'll apply a v lookup here what is the lookup value so the lookup value is the id column here we need to provide a table array and now the choose function would be used now what does this choose function do so friends you can see this particular entire table array or the entire range now from all these table array you can create a temporary table independent table based on your 
criteria or your condition based on what can solve your problem so you can create a dynamic table which is independent and you can play around so you can bring any column at the very first any column into the second any column into the third so you can just create a dynamic table range with the help of the choose function now how to do this friends here i just need to provide a curly bracket and the number of columns which i want into my independent dynamic table so here you can see i just need two columns into my table the very first column should be the id column so that i can apply the vlookup function the second column should be the name column i'll just write here one comma two now if you are solving a problem which requires three column four columns so you can just mention it here according to your need now after i provided the number of columns which i want i need to specify which is your first column which is your second column now to apply the vlookup function the very first column the leftmost column should be your lookup value column to the corresponding table here i need to provide the range of the very first column so our first column should be the id column into this dynamic independent table so i would just select this id range after i've selected the second column it will ask what is the second table which you need to have into the table so the second table is the name table and that's all i would just fix all these ranges so that when i drag this formula the range it does not change so the choose function i hope it is very much clear it is very much simple though and i'll hit enter so you can see i've got the name of that particular person and also for all the person i have got the name now friends according to this particular choose function what is the dynamic independent table which might have been created into the back end so you can see there are just two columns one comma two so the very first column it would be something like this and the second column would be something like i would just copy this and paste it here so friends this would be our dynamic table in case we are making or using the choose function now from this particular dynamic table which we have created with the help of the choose function it is very much simple for us so this i'll just select the range i'll do a two comma zero and i'll hit enter you can see i've got the same answer so friends this is how the choose function it works into the back end and we are calculating the values using the vlookup function without changing the order of the table now the very first time when i knew this particular function its usage i was quite amazed by the application of this particular function it is so much useful without changing the order of the table we are just using the vlookup function to get our desired value so friends i hope you had found this video very much informational and useful so do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't to receive such kind of useful information on a daily basis. Meet in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.